Alright, so whatever this size is, I don't know. It uh, just kind of sort of fits inside this hole saw, so the minute I cut the hole, I mean these, these teeth will make it a little bit larger and this thing will fit right in, so let's get started. And you'll want to, of course, clean up the edges a little bit. I just scrape with a utility blade. Just to get the oils off from my fingers. Yeah, need gloves for this. this is going to go is that's going to sit like that. Well, I'm going to goober it up with the silicone. Do that. Basically do that. I need to go get my channel locks. And it'll, it'll, it'll sit for an hour. Harden up be good in 24 hours and not looking to create a you know watertight seal but just keep the water from dripping in all right my nice nip nip x channel locks or whatever they're called just, uh, yeah okay yeah that'll work uh, maybe a little bit wider
Yeah, that's plenty. Probably way too much. But that's okay. Go big or go home. Cranking this down a little. That should be plenty good enough. I'm looking to do is uh, make sure it's not going to spin when I put this on and off. So what I want to do is find my mineral spirits and clean this up a little bit. I don't see my mineral spirits right off the top of my head, so just use a little of this, and I've got some acid home ready to side. I didn't realize how messy this was until I used a yellow box. Jeez. Most of it's spooged out the inside here. That's okay. Good enough. For what I need. I think that'll do it.